Did you know that your Cricut machine can talk to your printer? Well, kind of. With your Cricut and a printer, you can print and cut your projects without ever whipping out a pair of scissors. Hey there, I'm Amber Kemp Gerstel, founder of Yayday Paper Co., where every month we release beautiful printables that you can use at home with a tool you're already familiar with, your printer. We release crafting bundles of stationery, cards, and more that you can use all from the comforts of home. Here on our YouTube channel, I share lots of tips, tricks, and tutorials on how to get the most out of your printer so that you can be crafting like a professional. I hope you'll join us by clicking subscribe or that notification bell because you don't want to miss a minute, honey. There's so much crafty goodness happening over here. In today's video, I'm sharing a few print and cut hacks that I use again and again and again to get the most out of my printables. Hey, 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 I get it. But don't you think we should tell them what the heck print and cut even means? Well, she's not wrong, but she's also a bit of a know-it-all. But you know what? If you know so much, how about you explain? I will, thanks. Print and cut is a super cool feature on your Cricut machine. When you design a project in Cricut Design Space, you can upload your very own files like PNG images, like the ones available at Gayday Paper Company. You can customize your image directly in Cricut Design Space and then send it from Cricut Design Space to your printer. When the print comes out, it will have a black square around it. This is called the registration marking. And this is how Cricut knows where to cut. Load the paper onto a cutting mat, Then press the flashing arrow to load the mat into the machine. Press the flashing C to begin cutting. The machine will first use a sensor to read all those registration marks. Then it will begin cutting precisely around your images. Once you unload your paper, you just peel off your project and it's cut out beautifully. So there you go. That's your quick lesson in print and cut with Cricut. I cannot believe she was gonna skip over that. Okay, I'll admit it. That was some important stuff. And now that you've got the basics of print and cut down, let's jump into these projects so I can show you how I use my favorite print and cut hacks. When you upload an image into Cricut Design Space, many times that one image has lots of different parts, but you only want to use one part of the image. Here's an example. See these images from our Hive Holiday Collection? They come together as one image and they move around as one image when you're in Cricut Design Space. To separate an image from an image file, I'm first going to select the image file I want to work with. In this case, the ephemera from our high holiday collection. I'm going to decrease the size of my canvas to 25% so that I can see everything better. Next, I'm placing a square onto the canvas. Drag the square over the images until everything is covered. Next, on the right side of the screen, you want to hold down your shift key and select both layers. Now click slice. This will create shapes that match those of the images you uploaded. Now click on that gray layer. Click contour. Select hide all contours, which will leave just one shape remaining, that darker one. I'm gonna click on the cocoa mug since that's the shape I wanna work with, and then click on the other one to remove it. Now I'm left with just the cocoa mug. Select both layers again and click slice again. Now you'll see that you can separate that cocoa mug from the rest of the images on the sheet. You can delete those since we don't need them. Now we can work just with that cocoa mug and create a custom tag. Select shapes from the left-hand menu and choose a circle. Resize the circle until it's about the size you need to fit on the front of that cocoa mug image. Now I'm going to change the color to white so that the circle pops a bit more against the mug. I also want to add some text to make this a really customized gift tag. I'm putting more wishes from the Kemp Gristel family and changing the font so that it fits a bit better on that white circle. Once I've resized everything and I like the way it looks, I'm going to press and hold the shift key while selecting all of the layers. Now select flatten to create a single print and cut image. Now we're ready to print and cut. Since I want these to be gift tags, I'm going to print these onto thick photo glossy cardstock. Once the tags come off the machine, I'm going to stack them up and then punch a hole through all of them with a hole punch. 
Now I'll add some twine and put them on a gift. I love this gift wrapping paper that I printed using our Hyde Holiday Collection. How pretty is this? I love how it turned out. Now for our next hack. Did you know that you can upload your own pattern papers into Cricut Design Space so that they can be added to just about any cut file? Let me show you what I mean. In our Christmas crafting bundle, we have lots of pattern paper designs. Now, usually you would print these out onto paper and then load them onto your Cricut cutting mat and cut out whatever cut file you're using, like this one. I printed out the entire design on a piece of paper and then I cut out this cute fry box design from the paper. The problem is now, I've got all this paper that I didn't use and that also means I did a lot of printing and used a lot of ink that I don't need. By uploading your pattern paper and then applying it only to the cut file, you end up using a lot less ink because you're only applying ink to the project. See how that works? Now I'm gonna show you how it's done. The first thing we'll need to do is click upload and then upload pattern in order to import our pattern. Click browse and then select the JPEG file you'd like to import. I've selected this plaid pattern paper from our Christmas crafting bundle. With the pattern imported, we can now move on to selecting the shape we want to work with. For this, I'm choosing a fry box because it's going to make really cute gift packaging. I placed it on my canvas and now I'm going to resize it. By dragging this arrow, I can resize it within the dimensions that are required for print and cut. The widest side can be up to 9.25 inches, so I'm going to drag it to make sure it fits. You can also use the size window at the top of the screen to type in 9.25. I'm gonna turn this vertically to make it easier to work with, then click on it and select Detach. This separates the score line from the red shape. Now select the score layer and click on the eyeball icon. This will hide the scoring lines for now. Next, select the layer labeled Basic Cut. Move up to the Operation menu and select Standard from the drop-down menu. Now, click on the red square. Instead of selecting color, we want to select pattern from the print type menu. You'll now see a bunch of patterns appear in front of you and you can scroll down and you'll see the pattern that you imported earlier. Click on it and now the pattern will be applied to the fry box. So cool! Now let's customize this fry box with a little bit of text and imagery. First, I'm going to add a circle to the canvas. I'm going to change the color of this circle to red to match the rest of the design. Now I'll go over to Images, where I'm going to select a Happy Holidays design to add to the front of my fry box design. I'll add this image to the canvas and resize it and change the color so that it fits with the rest of the design. Time to add a little bit of text. This is easy enough. Simply click on the text icon and type in whatever text you'd like. You can change the font and of course change the color, resize it and place it onto the circle. Once the design is complete, select everything by dragging over it with your cursor and select flatten from the bottom right corner. Now drag the circle onto the front of your fry box. At this point, you'll want to click that eyeball icon again so that the score lines reappear. They'll help us place that circle in the center of the box so that it makes sense once the finished box is assembled. Now select the circle and the print and cut fry box portions and click flatten. This will make sure that these two portions print together. Now we want to take that score line and move it forward so that we can see exactly where it is. Select everything and click attach. This will make sure that everything prints, cuts, and scores all in one piece. All right, this project is ready to send to the printer. This gift box, I'm using that double-sided glossy photo paper that's 69 pounds and really thick. Now I'll load this into my Cricut machine. And for this project, I will need the scoring tool. With the cutting done, I'll peel it off the mat and it's time to assemble this gift. To assemble this fry box, 
First, you'll want to fold along all of those score lines. Then, use double-sided tape to assemble and put together. You can fill this up any way you'd like. I'm using these cute holiday cookies and then I'll use a cellophane bag to finish it off. I hope these print and cut hacks have given you some inspiration for how you can create amazing customized gifts this holiday season and really any time of the year. Drop me a comment below to let me know what you think and also let me know about that interrupter from earlier. Should she come back? Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time for another Yay Day tutorial.